Shane here with you from Guitar at Work. Welcome back. This is an exciting one by request, many requests for this. is Melissa by the Allman Brothers. Um, happy to be doing this one for sure. Um, this is a strummer. We've done a lot of finger picking lately, so I thought it'd nice, be nice to bring it down a little bit and just do a good old fashioned strummer classic song for sure, one you need in your repertoire. Uh, but I want to thank you for coming back and all your requests and, uh, and comments and suggestions and all that. So great to hear from everybody. This has been a lot of fun on this end for sure. I appreciate your support. Uh, I want to send this one out to Joe in California. Joe, you thought I'd never get to it, right? You thought I'd never get to this song. And Ken in Ottawa, I also appreciate your patience on this. Uh, great song for sure. Um, we're starting out here, no capo, and I want to tell you, uh, to encourage you a little bit, we've got some cool, what I'll call specialty chords in this song, but you will use these chords in other situations. You're going to come across them again. Um, you're going to see a couple of slash chords, we'll talk about what that all means and everything. I've got no capo on, and we're also, we're in the key of E, and uh, the song comes in at 83 beats a minute. We'll do a full play along, I'll put the drum machine on, and I'll call out the chords. So once you know these little moves, then play along with me at the end, through the song in its entirety, and that's important. The, the playthrough thing is very, very important because you learn recovery skills, right? So you're playing with other people, you miss a chord, which happens to all of us, you got to be able to get back in. And a really a good way to, to develop that is to play along in real time, no stopping. Uh, you may have to stop for a second, but then you have to scramble, look at the chart and find your place. The chart, glad you mentioned it, or glad I mentioned it. The chart, I've got three pages here for you. If you go to patreon.com slash guitar at work, uh, this is the song sheet that I'll be referring to. Three pages, two have the actual song with the chords over top, the lyrics, and there's a third page that has all the chord shapes that we're going to need. It's going to save you a lot of trouble. I would definitely go and grab that. That's patreon.com slash guitar at work. And for those of you that have already been, I appreciate the support. Thank you very much. Um, so let's just leap right in here. We have an E chord. I'm going to jump in. There's an E chord. Now we'll talk about the strumming and everything. There's an E. Uh, if you get a verse, if you get a verse through this song, the first four or five lines, you have the whole song. So let's just, we'll get through one verse and then you really know the song. So it's, that's fairly encouraging. Here's an E. I'll get to the strum in just a sec once we have a couple of chords under our belt. Uh, first section, the first, uh, t first line, we got E. Now F sharp minor slash E is the next chord. The slash E, you're probably seeing that all over the place, slash chords and other songs you're doing. That means it's an F sharp minor chord with an E in the bass, slash E in the bass, the bottom, the lowest note. So it's a bit of a specialty. Uh, when you see a slash chord, it does mean there's some integrity to the bass line that we're trying to preserve. It may have happened on the recording. Uh, or maybe just trying to make things interesting. But what we have here is an E, what I call a vamp or a drone. E, F sharp minor slash E. I'm just going to take these uh, middle and ring fingers off of there. Middle and ring coming off. Going to drag that first finger up one fret. And now ring and pinky are going to the fourth fret of the A and D strings. You'll see a picture of that guy. F sharp minor slash E. It's not your F sharp minor that you may know barred like that again. Especially at the item here. There it is there. And that's a chord. It's like a passing chord. It's not stable. It wants to go somewhere and it will. So that's a pretty economical little move here. I've got an E, I'll back it up. First finger is your guide finger. Here's an E. And then I'm going to take off my ring in middle. Up, first finger goes one fret, and then I'm going to ring and pinky it there. There we go. And you get all six strings. There's no X's in that guy. Uh, the next chord, G sharp minor slash E, is the same thing. Drag it two frets higher. One, two, just drag it two frets. There we go. And that's a G sharp minor slash E because the low E is still the lowest note in the chord, your bass note. Okay, G sharp minor slash E. And then the last chord in that line, look, we're heading back, F sharp minor slash E, just two frets back. Oh, okay, so our main riff, the intro, what I'll call our main riff, um, E, F sharp minor slash E, G sharp minor slash E, F sharp minor slash E. So you may have to stop tape there. And just practice getting that little move down so it's super, super smooth. And there you go. There's other ways to finger that. I won't go through them all, but uh, I think you'll find that's a pretty economical way if you have another way to, that you want to do it. If you have trouble with that stretch like that, if your thumb is up high, that typically is going to ruin your stretch. So you're probably doomed. Keep that thumb nice and low, and you kind of come in with your wrist angle underneath like that. Yeah, we have seen that solve it for a lot of people. So you don't have to have huge, long fingers as I do. Uh, you can you can get there. Uh, yeah, just get that wrist underneath. I'm sure. Getting to the strum, I'm going to sit on the E. You're going to see at the bottom of the sheet that has all the chord shapes on it, you're going to see a basic strum written. This is pretty much what they're doing in the intro. Remember, it's never the same all the way through, but something that captures the spirit of that strum right out of the intro is this guy here. It's going to go down, 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 up, down, up, down. Okay, now I'm going to put that into a rhythmic context in a second, but there's your down, 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 up, down, up, down. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put my drum machine on here. Fabulous beat, buddy. And two, this is 83 beats a minute. Going two. So when somebody gives you a strumming pattern, it's tempting to do this. Two, three, four. Down, 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 and down. Up, down, 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 and down. Up, down, 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 and down, up, down. Which feels really stiff. It doesn't feel musical. So what we want to feel is the invisible 16th notes. I won't bog you down too much on this, but it's very important for slow moving songs like this ballads. I'm gonna feel 16ths. Walk the chicken, 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 walk the chicken. Walk the... I'm gonna break that down to that subdivision. My right hand will always be feeling that, even though I'm not hitting the guitar all the time. That's huge. You really wanna to get to know that. Chicken, walk the chicken, walk the chicken, walk the chicken, walk the chicken, march la poulet, march la poulet, walk the chicken, walk the chicken, walk the chicken. That's the way there. So if I go through with that strum, I'm just gonna sit on the E. Two, three, four, and about. Down, 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 up, down. See, my hand keeps moving when it's not hitting. It's still feeling the 16s like that. Three and a three and a four. One, two, three, four. It's gonna go down, 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 up, down, down, down. Yeah. Feel free to put some other little fluff in there as well. Hey, I can't tell you how important that is. It's a huge big deal to be able to do that. So uh, uh, not just in this song. It's when things are moving slowly, you want to feel the 16th and you want to keep your hand moving even though you're not attacking, which is what the word they use, on, on, every, on every subdivision for sure. Um, so I'm going to play the first four chords. The first line over and over again here. Here's it nice and slowly first. Here's two, three, here's an E. F sharp minor slash E. G sharp. Back to F sharp. Here's an E. Same thing. Up we go to F sharp minor slash E. G sharp minor slash E. Back to F sharp. Good. That's your main riff. That's your intro and the first line in the verse. Um, the second line, and again, gonna go through it like this and then we'll just go run right to the playthrough. There's not much more to get through. There's an E come in the second line. I'm looking at here on my trusty iPad. The second line, the gypsy flies from coast to coast. You just have your E again. Everything is fine. It's four beats on the E, same strumming pattern, or mix it up a bit, whatever you like. And then there's that F sharp minor slash E again. Watch it, third line. It's bracketed, at least on my charts, at least. If something's bracketed like that, you're seeing an A and B minor slash A bracketed on the, in the third line. Uh, that means two beats a piece, or half the amount of time that the chords have had thus far. So that's hopefully easy to follow. You'll see that coming. There's gonna be an A, just the chords here first. Knowing many, so B, A, then B minor slash A. What is that? It's not your B minor that you know this way. I'm just gonna take a garden variety A minor shape and drag it up two frets. One, two, there it is. That's B minor slash A. And there's, uh, you can hit five strings. Your low E string is X'd out. Yeah, there are larger names, the B minor add four slash A, but it's just too hard to say as we're screaming them out. So that would go again, beginning of that third line, A. Here's a B minor slash A, gonna drag them up. It's just an A minor shape, two frets higher than it normally would be. C sharp minor slash A, you're gonna drag it up two frets, doink, doink. There's your C sharp minor slash A. And we're going back two frets to the B minor slash A that. So third line, uh, two beats a piece. I'll change the strumming pattern to this. One and a, two and da. Then I'm going to change chords. B minor slash A. Three and a, four and a. Up I go to C sharp minor slash A. Back down to B minor slash A. And we're back to a regular E. Um, the fourth line, so if you're okay so far, again, stop tape there and get used to that. I mean, if you're used to playing a B minor this way, a C sharp minor this way, it might, yeah, visually it can be a bit upsetting because you don't have the bar to kind of keep track of where you are. I'll go to the fourth line, which you really already know, it's the same chords as the intro, but it's only two beats a piece. So here's an E, fourth line, F sharp minor, slash E, G sharp minor, slash E, just half the time, F sharp minor, slash E, And then one, two, three, four, the fifth line, C major seven slash G. I know it's an awful name, but there's our guy there. That's the chord shape there. You know what? It looks like an E, one set of strings thicker and one fret higher. That helps you finger that lovely chord. C major seven slash G. 
And here's our last chord that we need for the song. B sus4 is this guy here. That guy there. You're gonna see second fret on the A, fourth fret on the D, fourth fret on the G. And these two strings are open. And this guy here, low E string, is X'd out. And you'll see the word stop written there. And you do as soon as you hit that chord, you only hit him once, and you stop. Okay. Okay, so that's a lot to keep track of. Stop tape there, get to know the chords, and then we'll, we'll string them all together. I'm gonna go very slowly uh, through the verse, the first verse, because that's all we really need to do, because the rest of it's gonna be pretty much the same. Um, here's an E coming. So we're gonna start out, oh yeah, just right from the verse, I'll skip the intro, because it's the same. Here's an E coming, three, four, E. F sharp minor, slash E. Up two frets, G sharp. Back to F sharp. Second line coming E. Same. F sharp minor slash E. Now third line, two beats apiece. A. B minor slash A. C sharp minor slash A. Back to B minor slash A. Here's an E coming. F sharp minor slash E. G sharp minor slash E. Same, you've done it. C major 7 slash G, 2, not bracket, 4 beats, 1 B sus, and E without Melissa, that's his, he stops in the B sus 4 so we can do what we call the tagline, Melissa, he has that big hole in the vocal there. Um, so hey, that, you want to be able to do what I just did before we launch into the play along. Um, any trouble getting to those chords uh, will, will bite you for sure as we're trying to go through it. So I'll start up that play along right now and uh, do what you can, do what you can. If it's a matter of you can't remember a chord, that's easy to fix. It's just practice it at a slower, slower tempo, right? So I wouldn't expect you to go from not knowing these chords at all to the play along right away. So stop tape and do what you got to do. Uh, let's see, so beat wise, I'm going to shout them out. And I'll put up on the screen what section we're in. So here's a four count. One, two, three, four, and a one, two. So we're gonna do the right from the intro. Here's an E coming. Two, three, four, E. F sharp. G sharp. F sharp. First verse, E. F sharp minor, slash E. G sharp, F sharp, second line, E, F sharp minor, now two beats apiece, A, B minor, slash A, C sharp, back to B minor, E going, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, C major 7, slash G, 2, 3, B sus, stop, 1, E who without Melissa. Four beats a piece, they're not bracketed. G sharp, same as your intro. Verse two is exactly the same. Here's an E coming. E, freight train, F sharp minor. Specialty, yep. Yeah. G sharp minor, slash E. F sharp minor, slash E, main riff. Now here's your E coming again. F sharp minor, slash E. Now two beats a piece coming. A, quick ease. B minor, slash A, C sharp. B minor, E, two beats. F sharp, bracketed, G sharp. F sharp, C major, seven slash, G, two, three. B sus, stop, one, two, three. E without Melissa. Back to the main riff here. Bottom of the second verse, G sharp. Here comes your bridge. E, four beats, E, D, A, B sus, C sharp minor, A, B sus four, strum it, stop on the second one right here, one, two, three, E, next verse, next page, F sharp minor slash E, main riff, G sharp, F sharp minor, E coming, F sharp minor, slash E of course, now two beats a piece coming, bracketed A, B minor slash A, C sharp minor slash A, B minor, good, E coming, still quick easy, bracketed, F sharp, G sharp, 
F sharp, C major 7 slash G, and stop on B sus, E with Alisa. F sharp minor slash E. Now here's the tag again, C major 7, 2, 3, B sus, 1, 2, E with Alisa, main riff, F sharp minor, G sharp minor, F sharp minor, Good. Now repeat out, same thing, all the way home. F sharp minor, slash E, G sharp. Mix it up with the right hand, keep it interesting. Same thing again, E. We're fading out. There we go, and I'll stop it on an E. Three, four, one. There we go, guys. Now it moves along, doesn't it? Even though it's at only 83, that 16th note feel yeah, makes things move along, or makes it feel like it's moving along. Um, now he's got a, the benefit of a whole band in there. If you're just one person playing it by yourself around the campfire or something, uh, feel free to make that, that strumming pattern just a bit more active. Remember, feel the 16th, that's so important. Um, so I trust that you'll get through that. And um, if you have, please meet me down in the comments. Let me know if you have any questions. People seem to have been emailing me that they do enjoy the play along thing. It is something you'll have to work up to though. I didn't do a slower version because the song, is, it's an 83 and it might drag a bit if we, if we went any slower than that. Um, so hey, let me know uh, how you're making out with it. Again, I'll send you to patreon.com slash guitar at work and go grab those sheets we've been referring to. Put this into your repertoire. It's a wonderful song. Everybody enjoys it. Um, and I want to thank you for coming back. All your comments and suggestions, thumbs up. If you make sure you give the video a thumbs up, that is really helping me on my end. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, I want to thank you for coming back. So we'll see you again soon for another one. Let me know how you're doing. Three, two, ah, wait. Uh, two, there we go. Ah, ow. Ow.